गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर श्रीनिवास बत्नी प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन सेंट पीटर्स इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ओके इन द लास्ट वीडियो व्हाट डिड आई एक्सप्लेन आई एक्सप्लेन टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड्स वी नो द टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड्स व्हाट आर दैट टाइप 1 मेटल मेटल इलेक्ट्रोड एंड गैस इलेक्ट्रोड एंड अमालगम इलेक्ट्रोड and also we have completed the one most important topic calomel electrode calomel electrode that is hg2 cl2 this molecule is calomel electrode so today we are going to discuss about the calomel electrode belongs to type 2 and today we are going to discuss the type 4 that is twin hydron electrode and gas electrode what is that twin hydron electrode and gas electrode these two topics we have to try to complete. these are the most important topics okay first we have to see the twin hydron electrode okay twin hydron electrode it is a type of redox electrode what is it is a type of redox electrode which can be used to measure the h plus ion concentration solution so this uh, hydroquinone reaction can be used for the measure the h plus ion concentration solution okay so now first of all before going to discuss this one we will see the uh, construction so construction is important and reactions and construction then i will tell you so what is the construction we take one glass beaker jar glass beaker or jar okay this one is glass okay in this so we have to use one electrode what electrode that is a platinum electrode you can take the platinum electrode and this electrode contact with the twin hydron crystals twin hydron crystals with water so that is twin hydron crystals this is the twin hydron crystals hydron crystals plus water हाइड्रोन क्रिस्टल्स दिस वर्ड दिस इज द ग्लास ट्यूब ग्लास hydron mean what is the formula of kin hydron kin hydron just we know that kin hydron structure this is the kin hydron this is the kin hydron when kin hydron okay, to the phenol This is the pino. This is the pin hydrogen. 
quinidron and quinone. Okay. If they are reacting to, so what will form? Just uh, that uh, transfer of uh, the complex compound, charge transfer complex will form a Schindler's plane. Charge, charge transfer. What is the charge? So here the first uh, This one, a complex. What complex? Fin hydrone complex. What is the fin hydrone complex? Transfer of what? Charge transfer from fin hydrone to transfer charges. transfer charges so actually what is uh, this is the when quinidrone to quinone it's an uh, equilibrium reactions this, uh, Construction before going to see that so uh, twin hydrogen electron so we have to construction is important so what is the construction see the electrode consists of what inner inert metal inert metal is the platinum electrode the electrode consists of inert metal there is a platinum wire okay platinum wire in contact with the twin hydrogen crystals. Hmm? The quinidrone crystal dissolved in water. Contact with this platinum wire, contact with the quinidrone hmm, crystals. Mean it is a water-based solution. Okay, so quinidrone is slightly soluble in water. Quinidrone. So formed by the equimolar mixture of hydroquinone and quinone. Quinone. This is the hydroquinone and the quinone. This will hydroquinone. And quinone. Hydroquinone and quinone both will form. So each one of the two substances, each one of the students can be easily oxidized or reduced to other. What is that? Each one of the two substances can be easily oxidized or reduced to other, either this one or this one. In the case, the electrode reaction may be represented like this by using a form. Using Nernst equation. Already, what do you know? Nernst equation, the Nernst equation means the potential twin hydrone electrode. What is that? We know the Nernst equation is what? Nernst is equal to E is equal to E0 minus 2.303 RT by F log. Q. So that is Q mean coefficient. That is just uh, two days back we have discussed that one in the third video, I think. So now we are to applicable that what happened in in that when so electrode mean that is what we have write the this is the electrode electrode potential that is we have to take the twin hydron electrode potential. Have to take the twin hydrogen. So what is E is equal to E zero mean. That is here also write the E0. E is equal to E0 what? Quinidrone. Quinidrone is two. So that is 2.303 RT by NF. So N mean two electrons. Here the two electrons are there. We can write the two. 
2f into log 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 what the coefficient is of water that 2 electrons are there h plus I know this is what phenone and hydrophenone phenone and hydrophenone so phenone and h plus and hydrophenone by So by applying of the uh, Nernst equation, we can write the electrode potential of fin hydron is equal to E0 fin hydron minus 2.303 RT by 2F log this one product by reactants. Okay, this is uh, where uh, E0 Q is what standard potential of the electrode. This is the standard potential of the electrode. Standard potential of the electrode. This is the electrode potential. This is the standard. Star electrode potential of quinidro. Standard electrode potential of quinidro. So, since Q is equal to quinone is equal to quinidro, both are equal. Equal BM. So, what happened? The concentration of quinone and hydroquinone are equal. So, these two concentration are both equal, the concentration, because this is equal to this mean, phenidrone, so equal to phenone, both equal, phenidrone and hydroquinone and both are equal. So, mean, so now, how can you write that one? How can you write? Just EQ is equal to standard electrode potential EQ minus 2.303 by 2f log h plus because the h plus we can write that at 825 degree centigrade we can write at 25 degrees so here i am writing that uh, what here we can write so ek is equal to e0 q minus 2.303 2f by rt log h plus. So now e 0 q minus 2. if you have substitute all values like r inverse of gas equal temperature and for day we will get the 0 0.0591 log H plus log H plus at 20 degree centigrade. Okay, 25 degree centigrade. If this is the NF, okay. NF. Now, if if applicable to 2 mean you have to divided by the this equation by 2 0 0.0591 by 2 log H plus, we will get the 202291 something log h plus log h plus we get that one or simply we can write just this equation okay at 25 degree so eq is equal to eq minus 0 0.59 log h plus which is by using of this one we can determine the h plus h plus concentration log h plus is what ph we can determine the ph so eq is equal to e0 q minus 0 0.0591 so ph ph we can easily find out log h plus is equal to what ph minus log h plus is equal to minus log h plus is equal to what ph so this is about we can use using by this one so we will find the ph we know that the value of eq and um, e standard electrode potential when hydron electrode potential and standard electrode potential, both are equal then we can calculate the ph of the equations so then this is about the hydron electrode and what are the advantages 
advantage of this. The electrode is very easy to set up. One simple one uh, glass bulb. We can take the one glass bulb. That is a glass bulb, and uh, simply one rod is inside and fill the hydroquinone crystals in water, water-based solution. Then that is very easy to set up in the lab. The pH value obtained is very accurate. In this, the pH values we will get the very accurate. And a very small quantity of the solution are sufficient for the measurement. We can use the measuring of this. So small amount, small quantity is enough for that one. But disadvantages are also there. What are the disadvantages? The electrode cannot be used in more alkaline solution, more than 8.5. We cannot use it. This uh, If more alkaline, so we cannot use this more than it. And also with the solution that react with quinidine and hydroquinone, it will react with this. Okay, this is about the advantages and disadvantages. So once again, what is that? Quin uh, hydrogen electrode. First, you draw the one diagram construction with the glass rod and uh, contact with the this this electrode is a platinum wire and contact with the twin hydrogen crystals in water molecule and uh, the twin hydrogen means that twin hydrogen plus uh, twinon so this is the energy uh, transfer of charges then these are two hydroquinone and hydroquinone are equal and plus two electrons and h plus are released in this one we are applying the uh, Nernst equation that is E is equal to E0 minus 2 pi 3 no RT by 2A by log. So log Q. Log Q means this one coefficient. So when applying that is a twin hydrogen electron, standard twin hydrogen electron minus 2 pi 3, 0, 3, RT mean 2 mean 2, N is equal to 2, that is a 2F log. This one Q, concentration Q, concentration H plus 2 and twin hydrogen. So this is about the, when applying, we will get this equation. So this is the very, very important reaction to find the pH value. We can find it. So by using of this one, we can find the pH very easy. Because if the standard hydrogen production is given, then what is the electrode potential of quinidine? Or what is the pH of the given higher as a given electrode potential value, electrode potential value is uh, given electrode potential value something x and standard electrode potential, then we can find by using of this equation. Okay, this is about the what uh, quinidine electrode. Okay, and next, uh, please note down all these things. Glass electrode and determination of pH of a solution by using a glass electrode. What is that? Glass electrode. And determination of pH. pH of the solution. Determination of pH of a solution by using glass electrode. Okay. So, what is glass electrode? It consists of a membrane which is selectively permits one glass. I mean, it is selectively like a resin membrane which selectively permits specific ions to pass to pass through it, or they respond to specific ion mixtures. The potential developed at electrode is a function of the concentration only that in the solution. It is also referred to ion selective electrode. We can say ion electric selective. Okay? Ion like a resin, ions are there. So simply they are transferred to one phase to another phase. Okay. So what are that? So if you can dry it, that will be useful for that. Same thing just before we have seen that uh, quinone, uh, hydroquinone diagram. Here also same. We have to use the one bulb that is one same this is the 
bulb so we have to use the what one electrode that is one electrode this is the electrode what electrode here we have to use the silver silver chloride electrode silver adcl electrode electrode okay electrode and uh, one solution we have to use the one molar solution we have to use the one molar solution that is uh, So it is what solution HCl, HCl one molar HCl solution. So this is the glass membrane. Glass, glass membrane. Okay. So this is about the construction. So what is the construction? Just tell me that construction. The glass electrode is made up of a special soda silicate. This glass is what soda silicate glass. What is that? Soda silicate glass. Soda silicate glass with high electrical conductivity. With high electrical conductivity. The thin glass bulb is the bulb. The thin glass bulbs is filled by the how much? That is the 0.1 molar HCl. Here what the 0.1 molar HCl, 0.1 molar HCl, and silver wire. This is the silver wire coated with the silver chloride. The silver wire coated with the silver chloride. That is immersed in the 0.1 molar solution of HCl. So just look at the glass bulb containing the electrode. That is a platinum, uh, a silver electrode coated with the silver chloride, immersed in a point one molar solution. A, what solution? HCl solution. This bulb is made up of a special soda silicate glass. Special soda silicate glass. Here, the silver and silver chloride is an internal internal reference electrode. This is the internal reference. Electrode, internal reference electrode. We can use the here in this diagram. So we can use the internal reference electrode. Here the the thin glass membrane keep the two solutions of different pH separated by from each other. Separated from each other. So this is actually the thin membrane. So separated here the glass and solution. Like act as a ion exchange resin, we have seen in the unit first. Ion exchange resin mean just uh, exchange the ions. Mean an equal establish an equilibrium between the sodium ions of uh, sodium ions of uh, glass and H plus ions of the solution. So in this what H plus ions here H plus ions are there. For example, this we can write like this. This one. Here the inside. This is the inside. Blue color is the inside. So here, what is that H plus ions? So this is the glass membrane. So glass membrane contain the what? Glass membrane contain the sodium silicates. Sodium silicate. What is the sodium silicate? Na plus OS. This is the sodium silicates. This is the glass. This is the glass. Okay. So this is the glass and membrane like inside is the H plus ions. Inside is the H plus ion. This. Uh, so here the in interfacial region. This is what thin thin layer. So here glass contains the sodium ions and inside what is the H plus ion concentration is there. So now what happened? This one. The two solutions. Yeah, the glass membrane. So this glass membrane separated the two solutions, sodium ion solution and H plus ion. So like it acts as ion exchange. It acts as ion exchange resin, and it establishes the equilibrium between the H plus ion and sodium, sodium ions. H plus ions and sodium. So the potential difference developed across the membrane, complete 
द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डेवलप्ड अक्रॉस द मेम्ब्रेन इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द डिफरेंस इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द डिफरेंस इन पीएच डिफरेंस इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डेवलप्ड अक्रॉस द मेम्ब्रेन अक्रॉस द मेम्ब्रेन इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द डिफरेंस इन पीएच डिफरेंस इन पीएच so what is the membrane just in the glass silicate what is there sodium ions of the sodium ions sodium any plus so that is the glass glass here react with the h plus so this is what membrane here this is belongs to membrane membrane so transfer the this one is transferred react with the so what happened is that h cl h cl glass h cl here the h plus and here sodium plus so these are the membrane this is also membrane so what happened so sodium glass exchanged by h plus and mean react with the mean h plus gl this is also membrane so the potential difference across the glass membrane arises due to the difference in h plus ion concentration h plus ion concentration inside the h plus ion concentration inside and outside of the glass bulb so this is the inside what is there h plus ion concentration inside and outside this is the outside outside of the glass so outside of the glass is the c2 we can write the this is inside is the c1 so now according to nernst equation according to nernst equation that is eb is equal to mean e electrode electrode what bulb glass bulb there is a bulb is equal to what 2.303 rd rt by nf 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 what lock what is the concentration here inside and outside so that is the reacted by products so c2 by c1 okay write the c2 by c1 c2 by c1 so this is equal to the nernst equation as c1 is 0.1 molar constant and it is an it is a constant mean constant value so what happened if the constant well so what is the reaction takes place now this reaction just if it is constant c1 so what happened c2 minus c1 so eb is equal to so 2.303 rt by nf la C two C is the constant. Okay. If log H plus is equal to what happen if number of moles is one, so that is E B is equal to number of electrons are two, so two point three not three R T by F log H plus log H plus log H plus minus. Mean if plus minus log H plus mean so what happened? That is the pH is equal to minus log. So we can write the E P is equal to minus two point three zero three R T by F pH. So this is the equation. So at two ninety eight is equal to so if substitute all the value, what will get? Minus zero point two. Five nine. So we will get the what? So if substitute all the reactions, that is minus two point three nine three. Sorry. If substitute the R value, T value, and F value, we will get the minus zero point zero five nine one. So pH. This is the E B is equal. E B is equal. At two ninety eight Kelvin. H minus C. this one. H minus C. So pH is equal to minus log H plus. This is about the what glass electrode. But 
Theoretically, Eb is equal to 0 when C1 is equal to C2. So, however, a small potential contribution exists. That is even if C1 is equal to C2, this is known as asymmetric potential. We can say asymmetric potential. The potential of the glass electrode. So, what is that? The potential of gas electrode. If C1 is equal to C2, what is the glass electrode potential? So, we can write the Eg is equal to Eg is equal to Eb plus. We can write the glass electrode. So, if glass electrode Eg is equal to. So, the bulb is equal to. What is that? Eb 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 plus what is that electrode? What electrode? Silver and silver chloride. What is that? Silver and silver and silver chloride. Plus silver and silver chloride. Plus S. Plus S. We can write the plus S. This one we can write. So when Eb is equal to what? This one you can substitute. So now Eg is equal to Eb mean minus 0 0.0591. 0 okay. pH minus C plus Eg plus ESA. We can write like this. Okay. So this is what if we can write like this but uh, eg is equal to when when eg is equal to e0 g is equal to eg silver glass electrode the standard glass electrode is equal to silver silver chloride plus sa minus c so that is what eg e0 g is equal to silver silver chloride plus sa minus c so, if we subset, so this is equal to E0 mean, we can write this one. So, what is the equation now? Eg is equal to, Eg is equal to E0, G, E0, G, minus 0 0.0591 pH. So, this is the final equation. We can use by using of the we can find pH is equal to by the glass electrode. Glass find the pH value by using of a glass electrode. This is the final equation. This is the final equation. To find the pH of pH of this electrode can be connected with the reference electrode. So if we can find, so what is the reference electrode total? If the please note down all these things. If we can find the pH value. To find the pH of this electrode is to be connected with a reference, a reference electrode. So reference electron is we have to take in glass electrode. So glass electrode we have to know. What is that? Calomel electrode. Calomel. E calomel. So complete E cell is equal to E cell equal to a calomel electrode. You know, calomel is the reference electrode. Then minus E G. E Eg is the glass electrode. So glass electrode will come down. This is standard glass electrode minus P19 pH. So this will come, Eg is equal to this one. So we can substitute. So this is the final. These two are very, very important to find the pH. This is the complete cell. We can find determination of pH of the solution by using this equation. Determination of pH of the solution. Okay. So this is about the glass electrode. So today what we have discussed uh, in this lesson, so glass electrode and um, twin hydron electrode. These two electrodes already we have completed. These are the three calomel electrode, glass electrode and uh, twin hydron. These three are very very important for the examination point here. Okay, thank you.